we're here to do a little demonstration of a hardware in the loop simulation. Uh, we're running X-Plane. Running X-Plane on a Windows XP home machine right here in front of us. And then uh, there's a MacBook here that's going to be running Mavlink, which would be our ground station, which will be uh, following the, uh, the aircraft in space and looking at the orientation. Communication with the MacBook will be via this XB uh, receiver here, and there's an XB attached to this port here uh, that's running the Mavlink protocol um, connected to the uh, UDB4. Um, and then on the EM406 port, uh, that's where we're connecting to um, drive our hardware in the loop simulation through an FTDI card. Um, which then uh, goes off via USB to this Windows XP home machine running X-Plane. Um, okay, so um, I've got to start up. Let's see. First of all, i got to plug in the um, UDB. Let me put the camera down for a second. So now we are firing up the UDB and the lights are beginning, the LEDs are beginning to blink. We should see the ailerons waggle once. There's the one. And of course I have servos connected to the UDB so you can actually hear that happening um, on my little um, setup here. Then we'll get the four wags and wait for that. Any moment. All right, there's the four wags. Uh, let's see what else is going on here. Ah, it's in return to launch mode, so it's, trying, it's struggling to get back home, and it's already home. So I was switching that to stabilized mode. Sorry about that. Coming over to the MacBook, we're going to start up Mavelous software by just running a command line. All right, it brings up a browser, and uh, brings up uh, Google Maps, showing the aircraft in that silhouette at the end of the runway and there's our aircraft orientation shown at the same time so now um, I'm going to try and fly the plane uh, not a lot going on here I'm going to try my best to do this while holding onto the camera so here we go release the brakes and here we go and we are airborne. We're in stabilized mode, so the UDB is flying the plane. There we go. Let go of the controls now. And uh, coming over here to uh, Mavilus, you can see we're in a slightly pitch up and a slight bank to the right. I'm going to trim that bank out a little bit with my transmitter. There we go. It looks a little bit better. Uh, we're still climbing and we're kind of cutting across the runways heading off to the plane's right which is what we're seeing here in the uh, X-Plane simulation alright um, continuing along in Mavlink I'm gonna trim out the climb using my transmitter there we go okay, one more. so now we're looking pretty straight and level and like I say, we're in stabilized mode, so I'm going to just uh, take the transmitter and roll to the right and let go. And there you see the UDB is uh, bringing us back to a stable configuration. I'll just do the same thing to the left, let go. And the UDB corrects the orientation, stabilized mode, nicely done. Um, same thing if I just kind of pitch down and let go. There we go back to straight and level, showing us straight and level here. Looks like the map is indeed showing us flying over some water here, and uh, that's indeed what we're doing here in X-Plane. So that's pretty nice. Ah, Puget Sound is what it says. All right, so uh, that's doing a very nice job um, of uh, correlating what we see in X-Plane, which is actually, you know, it's a different set of data 
than uh, the Google Map, map data that uh, Mavilus is using, but it seems to be pretty nicely correlated. And now what I'm going to do is um, throw the plane into return to launch mode on my transmitter. There we go. Making a heavy bang to the right. And that's showing that in uh, Mavilus nicely. Flying back over that water and heading back towards heading back towards the runway. Just panning between the two to see what's happening here. So we're over that water. There's not much going on down below. But um, you can see the orientation of the plane is reflected properly. You've got some uh, controls here that you can enlarge what's being displayed or, or uh, just show the map itself as we're flying over the water. Bring it back to the normal mode. So that turns out I head in a direction so that the uh, Mavilus uh, information shown down below is not very exciting, but you can see here in the X-Plane that we are indeed flying over the water. And that's uh, Puget Sound reflected properly um, in Mavilus. And we're doing a little bit of kind of a fugoid, nose up, nose down. I'm not sure what's going on there, but uh, in any event, maybe the uh, X-Plane simulation is throwing a little bit of wind at the plane, who knows. Um, let me see if I can get back over to land by uh, just banking. Here we go. Banking over here and getting back over to the land. Yes. So we have a little bit something more interesting to look at in uh, in Mavilus. And you can see the same things happening here. We're getting just over the edge of the Puget Sound to the shore, I should say. All right, and I've let go of the control, so once again the UDB is flying the plane and it's on a return to launch. Heading back. So there you have it. It's uh, That's pretty cool. We've got uh, the wireless link. Um, we've got hardware in the loop simulation. And uh, it's done without too much difficulty. Um, you can see from the wiring and so forth it's not that complex or involved. So there you go and we're back over the airport. Um, you can see here we're returning to the launch position which is uh, I guess at the end of this runway right here and it's right on course. Once it gets to the end, um, it shouldn't take long at these speeds I guess, the plane will go into hard bank and uh, circle that's what it's set up to do, so we'll see what happens there. And then we'll just shut it down. Thanks for watching. Here we go. Yeah, into a hard bank. Sure enough. Mavilus is doing a very nice job following along. Alright, there you have it. Thanks so much for watching.